Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So, uh, this is the second episode of what is it called Q and A Saturday, and today we have a wonderful question from uh, our subscriber on Instagram. His name is Ryan Mark Twenty One N, and he's asking how does chanting uh, the Maha Mantra, or whether does chanting the Maha Mantra change your material destiny? Well, in two words. Three words, yes it does. It does change our material destiny. And uh, we're going to discuss different, what different scriptures and what the Acharyas say in that regard, how it changes. Well, first of all, um, what <clears throat> comes to my mind is uh, Harinama Chintamani, Shri Harinama Chintamani of Haridas Thakur. Um, over there, Haridas Thakur, he is uh, describing how just by chanting Nama Bas, you can attain liberation. And I know that we've heard this many times. I know that we've heard this uh, repeatedly, that uh, if you chant purely, then you will get somewhere. But uh, I'm sure all of us have this experience that <clears throat> I'm chanting, I'm chanting, I'm chanting for many years, I'm chanting very sincerely, but uh, then uh, I go to an astrologer and he supposedly tells me that basically I'm, I'm not far away from my astrological chart, you know, like everything is happening exactly how, <clears throat> how it was supposed to come to me. So where is the change basically? I want to see the change, isn't it? That's how at least my perspective was at one point in life. But um, you know, in Srimad Bhagavatam, it mentions that demons, they work very, very hard in order to gain something but they don't get anything more than their destiny that's exactly how Bhagavatam says demons don't get anything more than their destiny but devotees just by devotional service are able to surpass their destiny so uh, surely when you chant the Maha Mantra of course uh, we're talking about Nama Bas at least because if we're chanting Nama Paradha then we can chant for millions of lifetimes there will be still some benefit, it will be slow. But basically, the more pure you chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, the more your material destiny will just be uh, a non-issue, let's just say. Um, another thing that comes to mind is that... Um, what was this? Yeah, in, uh, <clears throat> in Chaitanya Charitamrita, there are examples of devotees uh, who had such strong faith in the Lord, and they were pure devotees, and they were chanting Maha Mantra, a snake bit them, and the poison did not act just because they were chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So, it really depends on us, on our uh, purity, sincerity, but at the same time, we have to be patient, because we can't expect these results like that. Just like... Uh, Bhagavatam says that Tenukampam Susamikshamano, that uh, a devotee, he patiently, he undergoes everything that basically his past sinful reactions give him. We do get reactions from our past misdeeds, but because we are devotees, sometimes they're even coming in a more condensed form, so that in one lifetime we could go back to Godhead. So, in that way, if we are patiently going through what our destiny is giving us, then we will be able to go back to Godhead in one lifetime. But then again, the question is, does Maha Mantra change the destiny? And I initially, in the beginning of this video, I said, yes, it does. Um, now I will quote uh, this wonderful couple. There is, they're like the power, superpower couple that I've known. Uh, their names are Karuna Rasa and Karun Chandra Prabhu. They're right now in Scotland. Maybe they will see this video, so Hare Krishna to them. Um, I really like how Karuna Chandra Prabhu described the uh, karma, karma or destiny. He said that uh, basically it's a limit. Like each one of us, we have our own material limitations. I can do this, I can't do this. I'm allotted, my quota is this, but not this. So we all have our limits. 
and uh, Krishna consciousness, if you are Krishna conscious, if you are chanting Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, you can get the best within your limit. And of course, pure devotees, they go beyond limit. They don't have any limit. But you can get the best within your limit. If you're not Krishna conscious, if you're sinful, if you have bad association, if you're committing, you know, wicked activities, then you go, you even basically narrowing it down and you can even die prematurely just because you're acting improperly. So it's all in your hands as well. Uh, because uh, just today, actually, I was uh, reading um, Bhagavad Gita. It was episode number 733 or 34, where it was described that uh, the Lord is superintendent, the Lord is the director of the material energy, Mayadyakshena Prakriti, Suyate Sachara Charan, that uh, Krishna is the director, he is the superintendent. Without him, not a blade of grass moves. So definitely his hand is there directly, he is the judge, what we get in our material life and what we don't get. But at the same time, it says there, he does not interfere. He does not. He doesn't intervene. It's our deeds, it's our actions, it's our past karmic reactions. But at the same time, later on in Bhagavad Gita, he says, So if you are surrendering yourself to the Holy Name, the Holy Name will reciprocate. There's no way the Holy Name will not reciprocate and will not change your destiny. So yes, wholeheartedly, with full enthusiasm, with full faith and desire, please chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra and uh, overcome your destiny beyond your wildest dreams. <laughs> yes, so this is my humble um, reply. I mean, many more things could be said, but... Uh, yeah, yeah, so many things could be said. It's a very convenient thing to say when you forgot to say something and then you're like, so many things could be said. It's like one of those things that tricks people learn, right? Oh, so many things could be said, right? Or, or let's, we should have a seminar on this thing because I can't answer your question. Or uh, what else can be said? So maybe somebody else would like to answer that question. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, I forgot. Very important point, <clears throat> the first one. Uh, in Civilization and Transcendence, which we already read in our podcast. I keep looking at myself and not into the audience, I'm so sorry. Uh, yeah, so something that we haven't really mentioned before, but I really wanted to. So uh, there was a question asked to Srila Prabhupada from a magazine. So this Civilization and Transcendence, it's like a questionnaire towards Srila Prabhupada. And basically, cut to the point. Prabhupada says that uh, we're not fatalists. Devotees are not fatalists. Even though some people say that devotees, they don't uh, endeavor materially because they know that happiness comes on its own, distress comes on its own. So we just better chant Hare Krishna because destiny will take its course anyway. Interestingly, Sri Prabhupada says, Why shall I waste my time trying to avoid distress and gain so-called happiness. Let me utilize my energy for Krishna consciousness. This is intelligence. You cannot check your destiny. So, listen, continue listening. You cannot check your destiny. And then Prabhupada says, no, 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 the Vedic system is not fatalistic. It is fatalistic only in the sense that one's material destiny cannot be changed. But your spiritual life is in your hands. There's more. Uh, nobody is enjoying uninterrupted material happiness and this and that. And then Prabhupada says that if it's fatalistic, let me just find it quickly. Yeah, if it's fatalistic, then why do we have education? Here Prabhupada says, so there are two different platforms, the material and the spiritual. Followers of the Vedic civilization, which is practiced in India, although nowadays it is distorted, Actually, these people are not lazy. They are very, very busy. Not only very busy, but also Kaumara, Acharit, Pragya, Dharman, Bhagavatam, Iha. They're trying to become self-realized from the very beginning of life. So then, I'm, I'm recording something. Uh, yeah. 
So then Prophet says that nobody can check your destiny. Nobody can check destiny. And then this is the key to this topic. He says, even if the man begs for the mercy of the king, the king can check execution. So Brahma Samhita says, Karmani nirda hati kentucha bhakti bhajam. Destiny can be changed by Krishna for his devotees. Otherwise, it is not possible. So the holy name and Krishna are the same. They're not different. So Krishna can change your destiny. And holy name is Krishna. So again, holy name can change your destiny. And the last point I wanted to mention is in Beyond Illusion and Doubt, a.k.a. Dialectic Spiritualism, where Prabhupada says, he asked what was the different education system for Romans. And Prabhupada says that, is there the same type of education for different men? And the disciple said, no, it's for everyone. Then Prabhupada says, it's not very good. If a boy is intelligent, inclined to philosophy and theology, why should he be forced to undergo military training? The spiritual master should see the tendency, and then he says this is nonsense. Uh, he mentions checking the astrological chart because the soul has some disposition. So you can change your destiny just by education, because you have your national, nat natural tendencies towards something. And if you're engaged improperly, your natural tendency can be all messed up and your material destiny will be taking a very different course than what it was meant to at the time of your birth. So we're not even talking holy name, we're talking about basic, like how your parents, how your teachers engage you at school, that changes your destiny. But if you are taking up Srila Prabhupada's spiritual education and you are surrendering yourself to the holy name, then it's like, it's like, then, yes, material destiny changes. Now back to the blabbering. I mean, back to the um, officially concluding Saturday Q&A. Uh, I would like to keep it, you know, short and sweet, as my Guru Maharaj says. Um, yes, so this was Saturday's Saturday Q&A episode. And uh, if you have any questions, and you would like to inquire that I will try my best to speak something on that regard. It's just a way for me to interact with my audience instead of just talking. <laughs> you know, I know there are some devotees and uh, uh, just like wonderful people who are following us and I would like to serve you in some way. So please, uh, if you have any questions, maybe I could be of some help. <laughs>